A new reading of the Meshach Stile could have far-reaching consequences for biblical history. This is on Fizz.org by Taylor and Francis. The biblical king Balak may have been a historical figure, according to a new reading of the Mesha Stile, an inscribed stone dating from the second half of the 9th century BC. A name in line 31 of the Stile, this column that's uh, chiseled out, read, reads House of David, could instead read Balak, a king of Moab, mentioned in the biblical story of Balaam, Numbers 22 to 24. This is what archaeological professor Israel Finkelstein and historians and biblical scholars Professor Nadam Naaman and Professor Thomas Rover, Romer, in an article published in Tel Aviv, the Journal of the Institute of Archaeology of Tel Aviv University, write, the Mesha Stile was found in the 19th century in the ruins of the biblical town of Dibon in Moab, present-day Jordan and is now in the Louvre Museum in Paris. The stone's inscriptions tell the story of the, ex the territorial expansion and construction endeavors of King Mesha of Moab, who is mentioned in the Bible. The stele was cracked in the 19th century and parts of it are missing, but portions of the missing parts are preserved in a reverse copy of the inscription, known as a squeeze made from the steel cracking. The author studied a new high-resolution photograph of the squeeze and of the steel itself. These new images made it clear that there are three consonants in the name of the monarch mentioned in line 31, and that the first is the Hebrew letter Beth, a B sound. While the other letters are eroded, the most likely candidate for the monarch's name is Balak, B-A-L-A-K, B-A-L-A-K, the author said. The seat of the king referred to in line 31 was a Horonam Naim, a place, where, a place mentioned four times in the Bible in relation to the Moabite territory south of the Arnon River. Thus, Balak may have been a historical personality like Balaam, who before the discovery of the Dair Allah inscription was considered to be an invented figure, they suggest. The new photographs of the Mesh Stili and the squeeze indicated that the reading House of David, accepted by many scholars for more than two decades, is no longer an option. The authors conclude we could do caution with due caution, which suggests the name of the Moabite king Balak, who according to the Balaam history, story of Numbers 22-24, sought to bring a divine curse on the people of Israel. Quote, the story was written down later in the time of the Moabite king referred to in the Mesha Sili. Yet to give a sense of authenticity to his story, its author must have integrated into the plot certain elements borrowed from the ancient reality, including two persons named Balaam and Balak. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.